Hi guys, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and this is Hydrogen Peroxide Day. A lot of people want to know about it. Should they use it? Shouldn't they use it? How often should they use it? What are some details? So hydrogen peroxide actually brings oxygen into the oral cavity and kills bacteria that can't stand the presence of oxygen. And those bacteria are often bacteria that can contribute to gum disease, periodontitis, or even cavities. You go to the drugstore, you can buy it. It's usually about 3%, and that's what this is. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide, and that's typically what you get. So if you're going to use it for a rinse, and I think it's okay to use occasionally for a rinse, I wouldn't use it every day because it's strong it can kill bacteria that are good and you don't want to do that but i think using it occasionally is is okay we don't necessarily recommend it i think there are other things that are equally or more effective uh, but if you want to use it occasionally uh, that's okay don't use it full strength that's the problem if you use it full strength it tends to kill too many of the good bacteria. You may have seen the video that I had recently. We had a patient who had a tooth extract. She wanted it to heal faster, so she was using undiluted straight hydrogen peroxide every day. Well, I looked in her mouth and her tongue, the right side of her tongue where the tooth was extracted, was black. Why was it black? It's called black hairy tongue, and it was black because the strong hydrogen peroxide killed off the good bacteria and allowed yeast or fungus to take their place. And these yeast tend to have uh, long filaments and collect stain, and so one can get black hairy tongue. So do not use it full strength. You can use it diluted half with water. Let's say you have a full cup of water, full cup of hydrogen peroxide. Now this is way too much. I'm just giving you this as an example, you'd have a full cup of hydrogen peroxide and you'd mix the two equally. So let's do this in the water pick here. And then you can use it in the water pick diluted one to one. Or you can simply take some of that. In this case, I'll just take it out of there and rinse with it. And when you rinse 30 seconds to a minute, something like that, that was less than 30 seconds because when you're swishing it around in your mouth, it tends to bubble and you get a lot of air and sometimes it's hard to actually keep it in your mouth for 30 seconds. Typically 3% diluted in half is okay. Use it periodically. You can use it in your water pick or you can use it just straight rinsing. Do not swallow it. Uh, make sure you spit it out. So people ask, will it whiten your teeth? Hydrogen peroxide from the bottle is not meant for whitening your teeth. It is not going to whiten your teeth. At least it's not going to do it effectively. Of course, you can buy uh, products that have hydrogen peroxide in, in in proper quantity in the right amount right balance that will help to whiten your teeth but I would not use it from the bottle diluted or undiluted to whiten your teeth don't count on that at all hydrogen peroxide don't use it full strength occasional use is okay 30 seconds to a minute rinsing or in your water pick make sure your mouth is healthy if it's not healthy you're not healthy so healthy mouth, healthier body. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you, questions, comments. Have a great, great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.